We gather this evening to bid a warm welcome to Jim Sampson, a person of extraordinary breadth of learning and chameleonic ability to reinvent himself. Jim, this evening is a celebration of your work as a musicologist. It's a way of saluting your achievements, of saying thank you for the riot of ways in which you enrich and delight us, the ways in which you evoke vicarious pride in our discipline, the ways in which you continue to stimulate and challenge, lead and compel. We are a society where writing about music matters, where members invest their best in a kaleidoscope of very diverse musicological endeavours and whose civic spirit is remarked on repeatedly by those who visit. It matters to us that we have not just a reputation for welcoming scholars, but that we recognise that cohort of exceptional intelligence and achievement which distinguishes the very best in our discipline. Widely regarded as one of the world's foremost authorities on Chopin, Liszt, Szymanowski, author of no less than eight monographs and nine edited or co-edited books, as well as a flood tide of book chapters and articles, Jim Sampson is among the most productive, most lauded, and most versatile of living musicologists. The groundwork for his achievement can be traced back to his earliest publications, both his authored books and edited volumes. His monograph on Szymanowski, 1980, is a pioneering study of one of Poland's most significant composers and an important nationalistic link between Chopin and the 20th century Polish school. The music of Chopin, 1985, and Chopin Studies, 1988, transformed the landscape in musicology, not only in how Chopin's music was perceived and received, but it also brought Chopin into the light of present-day analytic and documentary methodologies. Similarly, the Cambridge Companion to Chopin, 1992, awoke in the reader profound awareness of the greatness of the composer's works and an understanding of the distinctive nature of his style. Chopin, The Four Ballades, Cambridge, 1992, was swiftly followed by Chopin Studies with John Rink, Cambridge, 1994, and the master musician Chopin, 1996, all of which transformed the listening habits of a generation of Chopin scholars. Equally seminal are the Cambridge history of 19th century music, virtuosity and the musical work, the Transcendental Studies of Liszt, Cambridge 2003, which was awarded the Royal Philharmonic Society Book Prize, and Chopin the Ballade's Peters edition, which won the International Piano Awards edition of the year 2009. In recent years, Professor Sampson has broken new ground in Music in the Balkans, 2013, and his edited volumes on music in Cyprus and Serbian music Yugoslav context, 2015. To take just one of these, Music in the Balkans is a major contribution to both European musicology and Balkan or Southeast East European studies. Encyclopedic in scope and detail, this 750-page volume covers the region's traditional art and popular music from the Ottoman, Habsburg and Russian colonial past <coughs> through to the post-communist present. It offers a unique historical survey and critical analysis of musical repertoires, seamlessly integrating topics as disparate as dynaric two-part singing and the music Biennale Zagreb. Drawing on his own extensive research in the field and an extraordinarily diverse literature, Jim's theoretical insights characteristically embrace a wide disciplinary spectrum from ethnomusicology and symbolic geography to philosophy and post-colonial theory. It's also a wonderful read for specialists and non-specialists alike, as no doubt will be the current monograph he's preparing, provisionally entitled Black Sea Sketches, Music, Place and People. The widespread recognition of Professor Sampson as one of the most virtuosic scholars of 19th century music is reflected in the proliferation of major national and international honours he has received. He was appointed Fellow of the British Academy 2000 and has received numerous honorary memberships, 
of the Greek Musicological Society, the Society for Polish Music, the three Chopin societies in Warsaw, Paris and London, the Order of Merit to the Polish Ministry of Culture, the Szymanowski Medal for Services to Polish Music, and most recently an honorary D. Lit from Ionian University in 2016. His services to musicology have been outstanding. He has served on over 30 editorial boards and councils, most notably Editor-in-Chief, Grove Music Online, South East and Central, East Central Europe, the board of the International Institute of Frederick Chopin in Warsaw, and Joint General Editor of the Complete Chopin, a new critical edition, Peters in London. The originality and distinction of his work has been recognised in many distinguished chairs he has held at the University of Exeter, 1992 to 94, the Stanley Hugh Baddock Chair of Music in the University of Bristol, 1994 to 2002, before taking up the Chair of Music at Royal Holloway, the University of London, 2002 to 11. The range and reach of his scholarship is also reflected in the visiting professorships Jim has held at Leuven, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, the University of South California, the University of Georgia at Athens, US, the Estonian Academy of Music, the University of Music Bucharest, the Liszt Academy Budapest, and most recently a two-year appointment as a distinguished visiting professor at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, an arts faculty appointment designed to promote interdisciplinary research and which will commence in October 2019. <coughs> Jim, I congratulate you on all these fine achievements which have brought you here to us this evening. And I thank you for providing us, not just with a refuge, but with hard evidence of the reservoirs of ability you have, along with a unique capacity to bring others with you. For musicologists here in Ireland and across the globe, your work offers unqualifiable enjoyment, insight, intrigue and absorption. These qualities justify many times this Harrison Medal Award. It's my profound privilege to invite Dr. Peter Brown, Director <coughs> of the Irish Research Council, to address us and present the IRC Harrison Medal to you. Th thank you, Lorraine, and uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Delighted to be here in the Royal Irish Academy um, to present the Irish Research Council uh, Harrison Medal. Um, I, I studied uh, piano here under, under Anthony Glavin and then, and then clarinet under um, Jim Daly, so it's good to be back. Um, it's good to be back in, this, in, in, in the Royal Irish Academy of Music. Um, and indeed, my, my, I, I haven't been in this room, I think, but my sister studied under, under uh, Professor Gillen, who I know is, is, uh, is here, and I had a, a wonderful chat with Professor Gillen uh, before, the, before the proceeding started. So it's a lovely setting in which to make this special award to, to Professor Jim Sampson this evening. I'll say a few brief words, um, um, as we're all here to, to honor Professor Sampson and uh, to hear the, his reflections on his many decades of, of work and scholarship. We're delighted to be associated with the Harrison Medal, particularly given our role in funding excellent research across all disciplines, including, of course, uh, musicology. The Council's uh, mission is to enable the vibrant uh, research community by funding excellent research across all disciplines, thus supporting Ireland's social, cultural, economic and educational future. And of course we have a special role in funding research in the arts, humanities and social sciences and indeed promoting the value of research in those disciplines, which of course builds on a, on a strong tradition in this country and on a reputation for which we're known uh, the world over. And the Council has a unique role in the Irish research ecosystem, allowing for those at the very earliest stages of a research career to take control of their own research destiny and apply for an individual uh, award, whether it be a scholarship or a fellowship in their own name. And for those that are successful to independently manage their research project with the support of a mentor and host institution. And this is what the, the Council is all about, supporting exceptional individuals to reach their potential in research in whatever that uh, discipline may be, whether indeed inside or outside academia. And of course, from our point of view, this is absolutely not a luxury. The, the pipeline of exceptional researchers across all disciplines is critical for our future, not least 
uh, in the sense of researchers being our, our, our generation of educators in our higher education institutions. And innovative, creative thinkers are needed not just for the academy, obviously, but for also for enterprise, for the public sector, and for civil society. And of course, as we move our hurdle towards a digital society powered by artificial intelligent <coughs> intelligence, it's in fact the arts and humanities, including music, that brings a sharper focus uh, to what actually makes us human and uh, what we do best, as opposed to what's done best by, by, by the machines. Um, on a cursory search of our awardee database, I can see that we've supported uh, close to 70 individual research projects in the area of music. Um, and I just use music as a keyword since the establishment of Virtus. Um, and what is evident is the incredible diversity of topics and themes, from the traditional music heritage of North Dublin, to music as ritual and reconciliation in Cyprus, to the violin, uh, to the um, to the violin beyond Western art music, just to give you a flavour of some of those projects, all excellent individual peer-reviewed researchers extending the frontiers of knowledge in music and musicology. The laureate awards for frontier research were a major milestone in the evolution of the council, allowing talented individual researchers across all disciplines to seek funding to develop their research beyond postdoc level up to advanced career stage. And we'll shortly be announcing the outcome of the first advanced grant call, having allocated a suite of awards last year under the starting consolidator phase. And of course, the laureate awards will drive greater success for all disciplines, hopefully, in the European Research Council. In fact, it was only uh, last year that Ireland had success in the ERC in the area of music with Professor um, J. Griffith Rolofsen in UCC, securing a consolidator grant for a project on hip hop, of all things. Um, but the laureate calls to date have shown that the funding is not enough to meet demand, and excellent projects across all disciplines are, are going unsupported. In addition, there isn't funding yet to embed the laureate awards as an annual call, and the council certainly welcomes the support of the research community across all disciplines uh, to promote the importance of embedding the laureate award, awards, both in terms of call frequency and quantum of funding to ensure that Ireland can be at the forefront of the development of the sciences, arts and humanities disciplines globally. That, uh, but in concluding, and of course this evening we're <coughs> celebrating individual excellence and honouring um, Professor Sampson's work. Before I give the floor to Jim, I want on behalf of Council to warmly congratulate him and applaud his contribution to musicology. Um, and without further ado, uh, therefore, I hereby present uh, to Professor James Sampson, the Irish Research Council Harrison Medal. <laughs> 